Android app. Uh, this Android app also um, developed by Nordic Industry. The communication between the uh, laptop and the uh, app uh, uh, via USB cable, the one end will be uh, uh, adapted board, and other end will be with the uh, laptop or PC. And uh, the communication between uh, the board and the mobile uh, using BLE. So uh, before going further, I would like to introduce introduce or want to give uh, some short introduction about Bluetooth and Bluetooth Low Energy. Bluetooth is a wireless technology standard used for exchanging data between fixed and mobile device over short distance using short wavelength. Uh, in this uh, Bluetooth Low Energy, uh, uh, sorry, Bluetooth. Uh, the radio band uh, used is uh, from 2.4 gigahertz to 2.480 gigahertz, uh, and uh, this is actually developed by Nils Redbig, uh, the city of Ericsson Mobile, in 1989. And the Bluetooth Low Energy actually the uh, upgraded or uh, advanced version of Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth and uh, this actually first introduced by um, Nokia in 2006 and then it comes or it was integrated uh, into Bluetooth 4.0 in December 2009 and later then uh, Many companies uh, uh, taken this technology and uh, develop uh, many Bluetooth version. And current Bluetooth version and uh, current and develop and uh, Bluetooth version is Bluetooth 5.2. Now I am going to show you the Arduino code uh, which we run within this uh, uh, Adobe code board and. Uh, and which you actually will be responsible for all the things. Going to the main code, uh, we should know about the, its uh, communication architecture and the what are the tools uh, and I very sweet data and required uh, to complete this uh, project. So uh, in this uh, picture I am showing that the, the, the communication architecture of this project. So here uh, we, have, uh, we have, we can see that that uh, the communication uh, between the output board and the mobile uh, using BLE word and the communication between the adapter board and the uh, laptop is a USB. So here the uh, uh, laptop or PC will be act as a USB host and the adapter board, uh, board will be act as a uh, USB device. And uh, the communication in between the, these uh, two devices uh, is simple as a, any USB uh, communication. Uh, but uh, you, uh, the BLE, what is, uh, if you have some question in your mind after saying that the BLE word, what is BLE word? Actually, BLE word, what type of service it is uh, be, uh, be defined by the NRF word? Actually, it, uh, we should know the, uh, about the basic theory of BLE uh, architecture. So, uh, in uh, BLE architecture, there is uh, uh, um, three uh, things that is generic, the generic attribute profile or GAT, GATT, and then the uh, its service. I mean, uh, and serv every service has uh, multiple characteristics and the uh, unique universal unique id or uuid that is the uh, uh, the uh, unique id of every service and characterist so what is the generic attribute profile or get uh, the uh, get profile specifies the structure in which profile data is exchanged the structure defined basic elements such as service and characterist and used in a profile in uh, the 
in the words you can say that it is a set of rules describing how to bundle and present and transfer data using BLE and uh, what is service uh, a service is a collection of data uh, and associated uh, behaviors to accomplish a particular function or features like uh, this BLE word uh, BLE word is one type of service and it has uh, you know the in word communication uh, there is two things one is uh, receiving and transmission so in this BLE word communication there are also verbs uh, to uh, uh, characterize that is transmitting and receiving so I, I, I have uh, I have told you before that uh, the every service uh, has uh, multiple of characteristics so here uh, the BLE word is a service and it's two characteristics one is uh, receiving Rx and the transmitting so tx now what is characterist the characterist is a value used in service along with properties and configuration about how to how sorry how the value is accessed and the information about how to value display and or represent it so the thing is the characteristic is for actual value and information content uh, security parameters units and other metadata concerning the information are also encapsulated in characteristic then what is universal unique id so uh, a uid as a abbreviation uh, you will uh, see a lot of daily but uh, it is unique number uh, used in ID identify any service and its characteristics and its description like this uh, we, uh, we we i mean uh, we uh, have like uh, like we have unique uh, other id uh, such kind of things not uh, complicated by this unique id uh, uh, uuid uh, the uh, uh, device can understand what is the service and uh, what, what is the character is so that is the this is the main properties of any characterist and service so now i'm going to uh, show you what are the tools and uh, the libraries we need to build this uh, firmware uh, for this project so let's go for so here are the tools and libraries we require to develop the firmware. Here I am going to use Arduino ID. Uh, we know the Arduino ID is the very much popular in embedded domain and it has it support many boards. Uh, so for this uh, firmware development purpose, we need two main things. There's this Adafruit board support package, and another is Adafruit Bluefoot LE library or NRF51 library so for uh, to, to uh, download and install this uh, uh, board support package you have to do one thing just open your Arduino id then uh, click on file menu and after clicking uh, clicking on file menu just uh, navigate the um, paper ends, uh, uh, menu then after opening the paper ends menu you will find there this box where uh, additional board support package URL is there so uh, just uh, copy the URL from here and paste uh, there uh, then click OK so it is ready now um, go to the tools uh, tools menu and navigate the boards and after clicking on boards uh, you will find a board manager and in this board manager uh, this is search box you just uh, Right or type uh, the adder foot and you will find this uh, uh, supported I mean uh, uh, rest, uh, uh, respected board support package and just download and install it after download and installing this um, uh, board support package uh, you have to download or install the adder foot Bluefoot uh, LE library which you will uh, find in library uh, menu uh, uh, and then 
uh, for this inner app you are the android app you just uh, go go in uh, play store yep. uh, and uh, clear, uh, type inner app you are in your uh, search box and you will find this app uh, then uh, download and install it in your mobile okay so now uh, let's go for main coding things so so our objective is to send uh, some keyword or key cookies from my our mobile to the laptop or pc so our mobile or laptop i uh, sorry mobile uh, will be act as a uh, I mean normal uh, BLE enabled keyboard uh, actually and, uh, and uh, so for this purpose i have written this code uh, uh, the first line we have we can see that uh, the first line is this uh, adeno.h file or uh, adeno header file actually this board uh, is uh, based on the uh, adeno architecture so that's why we need this header file and then the uh, the svi header file actually uh, the thing is in this board there is a uh, there is a post microcontroller that is admega 32 u4 uh, which uh, actually communicating with this uh, uh, PLE module using SPI communication for uh, so it is internal things of this uh, board uh, I mean adapter board we actually don't need this uh, SPI uh, header file but uh, for their purpose they, they record this uh, header file then the uh, uh, food, uh, add a food BLE header file actually this library the BLE architecture is defined uh, using this library uh, it will communicate with mobile phone using BLE uh, communication so they, for this purpose they will record these things and uh, the another uh, to uh, low energy SPI dot H or SPI reward dot H this is the internal things of uh, the Board. This uh, next uh, the group uh, configure dot h it also the internal things of uh, add a board. We don't have to bother these things. Next is the keyboard uh, header file. Actually, keyboard header file is the we required just because uh, whatever the character receive from mobile. Uh, this uh, I mean this add a board whatever the character receive from mobile. Uh, the, the adapter board will send this character as a keystroke to the laptop or PC such that laptop or PC can recognize uh, as a keystroke. I mean, uh, the adapter board totally will be act as a keyboard because because uh, we uh, actually need these things uh, because it's our objective. So, we need this. Uh, Keyboard dot H header file. Then the next is software serial available or uh, software serial uh, header file. Actually, if uh, you record any software serial interface, then uh, this uh, library is equal to otherwise, otherwise, we don't need this thing. Then the come uh, factory set enable define. I mean, it and they have written uh, these things just obviously uh, if uh, we need any. Uh, factory reset uh, or uh, reset uh, the factory of this board then we have we must have to uh, enable these things otherwise if you disable it will be not uh, reset so for this purpose they have uh, written there and then the, then the define minimum firmware version actually thing is the, uh, the, the is within this board loader uh, bootloader will check whether the, the firmware or bootloader uh, version or bootloader version is greater than 0 0.6.6 .6 or not because uh, I think uh, uh, below of this version 0 0.66 there was some bugs so they and uh, after after 0 0.6 uh, and 6 onwards they have they have, I think they have fixed these bugs so that's why uh, they uh, always check these things and if uh, if if your board is uh, lower than this version so you have uh, upgrade your uh, power uh, um, above the 0 0.6.6 so that is the thing so now in the next slide here we will start in verbose mode uh, that's why we written this line 
So it will try to start in Bhargava's mode. After if it is uh, able to start in Bhargava's mode, then it will display OK in uh, serial monitor. Otherwise, it will throw an error. Next is uh, factory reset. In uh, 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 it will check the factory reset enable flag is on. I uh, sorry, uh, true or false. If it is true, then it will try to reset the board, and uh, uh, otherwise uh, it will throw an error. Uh, then the next line is the BLE set command check. Okay, mm, uh, uh, at plus GAP AEV enemy uh, is equal to BLE device. Actually, in this line we want to uh, I mean set a name. Want to set a name. Uh, that is VLE device to, uh, to the adapter board. Actually, uh, this is the things in uh, VLE general access profile things. Actually, in general access profile gap, uh, we actually store the uh, information about this device like its manufacturing name. Uh, sorry, its name, its manufacturing uh, ID, or uh, its, its manufacturer. Unique ID uh, could be anything. So as for you, you can uh, uh, you can um, you know, keep many things here. So but uh, the thing is uh, the, the logic behind making setting this name is military device because whenever we are trying to search on uh, from our mobile, so uh, we can get many uh, multiple of military uh, device. But uh, actually. But uh, we want to connect only the particular uh, device that uh, the, this device. So how, how could I know which you, which one uh, of this device? So that's why we said this name so that we can recognize uh, in our mobile phone. That's the logic behind it. Uh, then uh, these things are uh, internal uh, structure of a, I mean, uh, of a bootloader. The next is BLE set mode put, uh, mode data. Actually, there is two type of mode. One is command mode, and another is uh, data mode. But here we want to uh, uh, work in data mode. That's why we have set uh, in data mode. The last and main part of this code uh, within this main uh, main loop, and there is a line while uh, BLE available. Uh, actually, it. Uh, uh, check whether any BLE data is available or not. If any BLE data is available in the next line, it will try to read one by one character and store into the character uh, variable C. And uh, the next line uh, will try to uh, uh, display those characters which are getting in uh, uh, which are uh, getting in BLE. I mean, coming in BLE data. And uh, the next and uh, next line is keyboard dot write. See, actually, uh, what is that? Actually, is a convert into key stock of every character, whatever getting uh, in uh, BLE. So uh, uh, it convert into key stock and send to the laptop or PC, and laptop or PC uh, uh, taking taking uh, will take as a keyboard input. So then it will uh, try to respond accordingly. Uh, uh, so this is the thing. Now I am going to demonstrate the whole project. Uh, so uh, everything will be clear uh, in this demonstration. So let's go for demonstration. Project. So uh, you can see in my hand this. This is the adapter uh, uh, header board. Uh, you can see these things. Now I am going to uh, the plug the micro USB cable uh, in the in its um, USB port. Uh, so I am plugging these things. And another uh, end of this my uh, USB cable is already plugged in my laptop or PC. Now I am going to open uh, my browser. So it already opened uh, in my PC. Uh, okay. So uh, it's okay. Now now I am going to um, open. Uh, uh, the NRF UART app. This is the NRF UART app. Okay. And now I would like to connect uh, this device. Uh, so now I am connect. Uh, now I get this uh, thing, the BLE device. Uh, so this is uh, the name of this device is BLE device. So now I am clicking in these things. 
and it is uh, you can see this it is connected okay so the BLE device is connected in in this board you can see this the blue light is glowing okay uh, now uh, now i want to uh, search uh, i want to uh, want to i mean open the open the google uh, uh, site from this mobile so now i'm sending some keyword dot google dot oh, okay now send you can see the this uh, www.google.com is appear already appear in my browser now i'm i'm sending enter okay and send okay now you can see the google uh, page or uh, is opening so uh, you can uh, this is the uh, main things of this demonstration so this is the one simple example you can do many things okay thank you